that all people may live together in freedom, justice, and peace. Then I read to you an article in the newspaper, the Manchester Guardian, on the 12th of November, 1919. The first stroke of 11 produced a magical effect. The tram cars glided into stillness. Motors ceased to cough and fume, and then stopped dead. The mighty limbed dray horses hunched back upon their loads and stopped also, seeming to do it of their own volition. Someone took off his hat, and with a nervous hesitancy, the rest of the men bowed their heads also. Here and there, an old soldier could be detected slipping unconsciously in the posture of attention. An elderly woman not far away wiped her eyes. The man beside her looked white and stern. Everyone stood very still. The hush deepened and it spread over the whole city. living God, we commend to your safekeeping those who you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to our peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi. So this is the uniform of a WAF, Women's Auxiliary Air Force, and it's badged up as Flight Sergeant with a wireless operator's badge. And it's an old-fashioned um, tunic with flat pockets which denotes other ranks, King's Crown buttons and just plain skirt. Chief! <laughs> Okay, welcome to Homewood Hall. Um, obviously we're not uh, really Americans, uh, we're British representing Americans. Uh, the unit that we're representing is the Norso Group, which is the Norwegian Special Operations, part of the operational groups of uh, OSS. Here at Homewood Hall, this is where we would have been doing our training prior to moving to possibly Harrington to parachute into France. And the Norwegian Special Operations, originally they were a, a mountain battalion and then they were cross-trained for uh, parachuting and uh, the, the original idea was to uh, to jump into Norway but that never actually happened. Uh, the uniform I'm currently, currently wearing is um, the M43 uniform we wore trousers uh, representing the Norso groups for who were part of the OSS. Um, I'm wearing an X-type parachute which is the British version of the parachute. Ton uh, cargo truck, German Army. The two and a half litre engine, straight six. Faster than anything the Allies had. This particular one, yeah, was used in, uh, well, in the series. Uh, David McCallum drove it in the second episode of the Cold It. BMW R650, flathead, twin, uh, reverse works, everything works on it. It's actually been in a programme on the BBC. There's a thing called Island at War. It was depicting the Jersey occupation. I 
really need it. Well. Forces attack the German strongholds. It's a hard fight. But our boys are victorious. <laughs> <laughs> 